What's going on guys? It is Dez and I am back here with another sniper gameplay. As you guys know, sniping is at its finest right here, right now. And just take a look around at this map right now. And people are saying that Medal of Honor has shitty graphics and that it's ugly. And I can't find one thing ugly about that besides that uh, firing that I'm doing right here. But other than that, I mean, everything is really crisp. I mean, maybe you guys just didn't install your your HD packs, which I recommend you doing. I also recommend you installing the game directly to your hard drive. What's the point of having a 250 gig hard drive if you don't use it? That's completely stupid. It makes load times better. It makes the game look better. It makes it run smoother. I mean, attention to detail, people. Look here. Look at his gloves right now. You can see the creases of the detail of the gloves you can even see that you are a US soldier right here by the flags that are on his little um, bottom cuff of the glove so I mean they did a really good job at that I mean this is really crisp you know I did no um, editing to the HD this is running off of HDMI so maybe if you guys are running in component component you need to fix that as well I don't know but I know I just got straight up noob tube right there from across the way and that sucked but look at the camo of this gun man the camo is perfect the water you can't get better water than that you know and then and then let's mix in the the engine so you know I'm getting all these evil comments and, and negative things on the, the Medal of Honor forums all about oh this uses the Battlefield 3 engine but I can't blow anything up well guess what Need for Speed the run also uses the Frostbite 2 Battlefield engine and guess what you don't blow that you don't blow buildings up in that or you don't compare it you also if we want to get into that army of two the devil's crate that's going to be coming or the devil's cartel that's coming out in 2013 is also going to be using the frostbite 2 engine you're not going to compare this game to that so stop comparing play the game with an open mind buy the game with an open mind it is something that is going to be a back-end game we all know this we all know it's going to be a back-end game it's going to be one of those games where you see a couple of your friends on it and then you hop into it and then you go back to your Halo 4 or your Black Ops 2 you know but don't don't compare it to the the, the A games when this is really turned into like a B game you know and yes it does cost the the same amount of money as the the A rated games and, that, and that's just because they have to pay their developers too you know, and then some of the same developers that are working on this are going to be working on the Battlefield 4 engine or the Battlefield 4 game. So maybe when Battlefield 4 comes out, like I, I really enjoy the fast paced gameplay of this, but it's not as fast paced as other shooters. You know, this, this mixes it up and makes you have to play tactical, but still fast and it's very enjoyable. The only, I have, I do have some complaints and I did, uh, uh, I'll put a link in the description to the problems that I do have with this game. One of the main things that you have noticed here is that you will see me use my G18 more so than my sniper rifle. So I do believe that the starting sniper rifles are more so to be considered secondary weapons to your G18, which is which is really crappy in my opinion. Um, you definitely need to. I mean, if I go and look at my stats. It's, it really sucks because my G18 it has more kills overall. I think it's actually my number one killed weapon, which is insane. But um, the kill streaks, the score streaks, however you want to say it, are really well played out in this game. They, they favor each individual person and, and the differences in the classes and the play styles and everything like that. And like I said, guys, I snipe in every game possible that has a sniper rifle, and it's just because that's what I enjoy. I don't enjoy like standing in one area waiting for a whole group of people to run at me and get a get a a font thing in the right hand side. I make commentaries, guys. I make gameplay commentaries. That means that I want my skill and my shot to be on in any game that I play. And so, is this game worth worth picking up? Yes, for sure it is. I mean, if you if you have an open mind and you want to play something different, this game is definitely for you. It breaches the cusp between Battlefield 3 and Call of Duty. But do not compare it to those two. The only thing that I'm comparing that to 
is the speed of which they play. So if you do not like gigantic maps, for instance, I don't like tanks. I do not like being shot by a tank. I don't like driving in a tank, and I don't like fucking jumping out of a jet, shooting a guy, jump, driving into a tank, smashing that into a helicopter, and hopping out into a Humvee and then driving away. It's just not my play style. And if you like that, then Battlefield 3 is for you. But the close quarters that was introduced with Battlefield 3 was really well done, but I'm a controller player, guys. I like playing games with a controller. Um, if you played games for five to six years plus, and actually, I take that back. If you grew up playing console games, because I've started with the Nintendo NES two-button start select D-pad, you know, and I moved up all the way up to now where I'm at with the 360 controller. So I never became a full-time first-person shooter gamer aside I mean on the PC period like ever the only thing that I played on PC was World of Warcraft which took a completely different set of skills whenever you are on a keyboard and mouse and those do not apply for whenever you are playing a twitch shooter type game to which I completely and utterly suck so for Battlefield 4 to work well on consoles they need to have their own development team for consoles and not port it from the PC on to consoles but what they do need to do is also up the sensitivity because if you put a, a 10 sensitivity on Battlefield 3 on Xbox it is literally like playing on a 2 and it's the slowest piece of shit that you'll ever be in and that's exactly how Medal of Honor 1 was Medal of Honor 2010 so before you guys critique everything that's going on in this game you have to realize that Call of Duty launches with hundreds of problems and so does Medal of Honor it's just the way it is it's just the way it works you know nobody remembers but in Black Ops 1 you couldn't even play the game for like two and a half three weeks when it first came out because they couldn't get it right and then they never got the hit detection right so I mean just open your mind guys play this game for what it's worth enjoy it and I don't know what you guys are thinking this, the graphics are sick yes I lost here but I wanted to show you guys this map because it's beautiful and I went 15 and 4 beasting up leave me some comments Check out all this stuff here, and it has been my pleasure to commentate to you all. Bye.